Today we're in Sanyang cooking fit yasa. Yasa is originated from the Jola tribe. It's charcoal grill fish with spicy onions. And um, we're here in Amifai's house, who is my best friend. This is Sanyang Market. I always use markets like this because these ladies, they're so hardworking. They grow their own vegetables, vegetables help to sell their families. So that's why I use this kind of markets. bought this sweet potato, that's aubergine, um, bitter tomatoes, onions, and all these onions are locally good. Here we are going to cook with firewood, as we normally do at my home. With charcoal. Wow, is this not nice? Got lime direct from the tree. We're just going to marinate this with salt and lime. For the fish. We season it with only lime and salt, charcoal grill it with spicy onions, and for the onions it's only seasoned with lime, salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of mustard, and fried in oil. I started this foundation last year. And the reason why I did, did it is, I've seen that Gambian women are so hard working. And I sit one day and say, ah, though I don't have much, but with the little I have, I can share it with them. For these people, I'm sure if they have boreholes, life will be very easy for them. And the reason why I'm doing this, these ladies, they help their husbands with um, fish money. They help their kids going to school. And um, I feel that if you help them, life will be very easy for women in the Gambia. So that's why I'm doing this. And this is very interesting. This is onions and it's flowering now. And that means that um, it's ready. But before taking it out, what do you do? You can cover this. If you cover it for a, for a, for a leave it for a while, there will be seeds, they said, and those seeds they can use it for next time if they want to grow onions again. Our food is very healthy because everything what they use here is organic. You can see here, that's cow dung. Um, they will use the ash and put it as a fertilizer for the fruits and vegetables. In the Gambia here, we need well because as you can see, the ladies are so hard working, but they have to dig so many wells and this is hand dug well here. Here, I think they have four, but they need more as well. And it's the ladies who dig this well. The ladies, they dug it themselves. Because I'm working, I'm dealing with Europeans, what I normally do, I cook hot pepper sauce on the side so that you can satisfy it with everybody because some like it hot, some don't like it hot. I am now going to put in the vegetables. Then after boiling these vegetables, I'll use the stock for the onion sauce. And this serves as our local Kenneth chef. All the vegetables are now out, but I'll use this water as a stock for the onion sauce. We marinated the onions with um, garlic, um, pepper, pepper powder, 
a little bit of mustard and um, lime and I always add spring onions. I like spring onions. This is sliced sweet pepper, chopped sweet pepper and um, fresh tomatoes. It's going in now. That sauce is ready now. But we have to put in the fish. Though it's cooked, but we have to put everything in now. Leave it to simmer only for five minutes. Then our yasa is ready. If you cover fire with ash, it can last for a long time. Normally it lasts for 24 hours. So that anytime you go to your house, you can just put a little bit of incense to have that nice scent. And this is churai. It's called, this is gobe. This normally grows near swampy areas. It's also a medicine because it's good for women. For instance, if you have a um, stomach problem, you can put it in water and drink it as well. The fresh one. That's the yasa already. We're not going to have our food. Always when you come to the Gambia or any country you go without tasting that food, you're missing a lot. <laughs> 